Hi there, everyone. This is Jeff from jeffmobile.com. This is the, another episode of the 3D Chef with your host, myself, Jeff Peters, Jeff Mobile on YouTube and jeffmobile.com. Today, I'll be making a recipe in filmed in 3D 180 VR. You can watch especially well in a VR headset. Or if you don't have a VR headset, you can follow along on your computer as well. Today, I'll be making a delicious and very easy to make beef stew made in the Instant Pot. So I've got the Instant Pot here. So if you look down here, you can see the ingredients for today's recipe. I've got a tray of stewing beef. This is Angus beef from Canada. I've got one container of mushrooms. I've got about five stalks of celery there, washed and chopped into thick pieces diagonally. I got about five large carrots, peeled and washed, chopped into fairly large pieces diagonally. Two small containers of Heinz tomato juice, and you can see this is a 5.5 ounce or 156 ml container, just regular tomato juice. Two of those. I've got one tablespoon of dried onion flakes and one and a half teaspoons of cane sugar or regular sugar. So those are the ingredients for today's recipe. Let's get started. So the recipe is really simple. Basically just dump all of these ingredients into the Instant Pot. So first I'll add my carrots. And the pot is currently off. Add the celery. Add the mushrooms. Add the beef. Shake on the onion flakes. Dump in the sugar. And lastly, I'll add the tomato juice. Now before I turn it on, I'll give everything a stir. Mix it all together. Some recipes call for sauteing or browning the meat or the veggies, but since we're going to be cooking this for a fairly relatively long time for our Instant Pot, the flavor still will be really great when you cook it. Stirring everything up. That's great. So that's all mixed up. I'm going to take a paper towel and just clean off the rim of the Instant Pot because I got a bit of meat juice on there. That'll help it seal better if it's dry. For the Instant Pot lid, make sure that you have your silicone sealing ring in place. And on the top, make sure you have a sealing dial that is ready to go. Make sure your Instant Pot is plugged in and close the lid. You want to set it at 35 minutes at high pressure. So push pressure cook and change the time to 35 minutes. And make sure it's on high and normal. And turn off the keep warm setting. The reason we turn off the keep warm setting is because after it finishes its cooking cycle, if you have the keep warm setting on, it will actually keep cooking and keep the pot hot. It's in case you want to leave it to sit for a few hours before you eat the food. But that I find that kind of dries out the food. And because I'm going to be doing a natural release, I want the pressure to release naturally after the 35 minutes are up for about 10 minutes and give it a stir and we're pretty much done. So what's going to happen now is the instant pot will start heating up the liquid at the bottom, the tomato juice will start creating some steam and it will build up pressure inside the pot. Once it reaches enough pressure, the little metal valve at the top will rise to the top and it will continue building pressure for another couple minutes. Once it reaches the full pressure, it will beep and will start counting down from the time which we set, which was 35 minutes. After 35 minutes are up, it will beep again and we will know that it's just time to 
release the pressure naturally for 10 minutes, but just let the pot sit. You can also unplug it at the time. After 10 minutes are up, let's release the pressure the rest of the way with the valve and give it a stir and we'll be ready to eat. The cooking cycle has finished and it beeped and we waited for 10 minutes for the pressure to release naturally for 10 minutes. But you can see that the valve on the top here is still at the top, so there's still some pressure inside the pot. So I'm going to unplug the pot from the wall and I'll move it over onto the stove. Now I'm going to turn the valve at the top so that the remaining pressure will release from the instant pot. Alright, so the pressure is all released and it smells amazing in the kitchen. I'm going to move the instant pot back to its pot on the counter. And let's open the lid and see what it looks like. Make sure to open the lid away from you, open carefully, the steam will start escaping. So open it away from yourself, steam escapes, and give it a little bit of a shake so that the drips of water won't land on my feet. That looks really, really good. I'm going to give it a bit of a stir. Wow, look at that. It looks and smells amazing. I'll lift the inner pot out of the outer pot using oven mitts. These are really nice, um, well, well insulated oven mitts. Put that on the stove. Now, if you look at that stew, it looks super amazing. I have a special lid that I bought for the Instant Pot. It's actually Instant Pot brand metal lid. I'm just gonna put it on there, a little bit askew, so these, the beef stew will start cooling down a little bit. Once it's cooled down a bit, I will put it into containers or you can serve it right away once it, once it cools down a little bit. So now I'm gonna do a bit of a taste test. I'm gonna grab some of the nice sauce, beef, mushrooms. That looks super good. Mmm. Just try a little bit. I'm going to mostly eat this tomorrow, so I'm not going to have a full portion now, but this will be just be a nice little taste. Mm, it looks really good. Let me give it a try. I have to blow in it because it's very hot. Mmm. Mmm. That's amazing. It's really good. I think the Instant Pot really shines um, for this kind of recipe because it traditionally would take a long time to make beef stew. Instant pot, you can do it in a matter of like an hour or less without following this recipe. There's pretty much very little work required and you get a very tender meat, you get soft vegetables, excellent flavor. The pressure cooking kind of enhances the flavor a lot. So it, uh, this recipe is nice because it uses tomato juice, gives a very rich, rich flavor to it. That looks really, really good. Give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. What a great recipe. So this recipe is from a website called A Pinch of Yum. And I highly recommend checking it out. I did modify it slightly to make it a bit easier to make. So I'll put a list of ingredients for my recipe below. And if you have any comments or would like to give me suggestions on what I can cook next, please leave your comments below. Once again, I'm Jeff Peters from jeffmobile.com the 3D chef and I hope look forward to seeing you back on a future video so please uh, subscribe like and comment the video and I'll see you next time that's all for now and have a great day mm.